the size of the wall or the ply is important because you wouldn't really want any ply less than three millimeters because then the snood will just turn out small and it's more work for you because you'll do more stitches then to try to compensate. So I like to use two small wools together and it makes a nice random pattern and, and solves the issue of the thickness as well. To cast on, simply create a knot on one needle and then loop the wool around a finger and then put it on the needle. Do that 30 times and then that's the casting on done. To start knitting, get the other needle and put it through the first stitch and instead of looping the wool around your finger, simply loop it around this needle and then get your other needle, pull that same stitch over the loop you just did and that's knitting. Just keep doing that till you have a snood. It's important to get the right tightness of your stitches while knitting because if they're too loose well, the snood won't do its job. It'll still be cold and you're wearing a snood. And it looks looser and it's just not as nice. And if it's too tight, well, it may look nicer and thicker, but it increases the chance of you losing stitch because it's so tight. It's a good idea to regularly check how many stitches you have in case you lost a stitch or added a stitch. If you have, you can try going back to seeing where you made the mistake or just add or join two stitches together. Knitting is relaxing. I like to do it while watching a film, but I might lose a stitch if it's tense. When I'm not knitting, I like to cover the needles with a bottle cork to prevent injury and the stitches from falling out. I think snoods are better than scarves as they take half the time to knit and they do exactly the same thing. You'll know when your snood is finished when you put it around your neck and it's not trying to strangle you but it's comfy. Then to cast off, knit two stitches just like you were doing and then get the first stitch and pull that over the second stitch and that's what you'll just keep doing. Knit a stitch, then pull the stitch over that. Knit a stitch, pull the stitch before that over it, and just keep doing that. Then at the last stitch, you can take your needle out, get a good bit of wool, cut it, and then put it through that last stitch, and then pull tightly. From here, I like to go directly into sewing both ends with the wool we just cut off. If I could just thread the wool through the needle, push your needle over the other end, then under the original end, and keep doing that each time making sure that it's nice and tight, because the tighter the better, it will make a nicer finish. Be careful not to sew the whole snood together, and then at the end, just do like you were doing at the end of casting off, put the wool through the last stitch, pull tightly, trim off any excess bits of wool, and the end! Happy knitting fellow warm snood people!